Hockey 101, sponsored by Seatown Electric Plumbing, Heating, and Air. The Seattle Kraken are back home tonight taking on the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. And this morning, we continue Hockey 101 with a look at what it means to be a hockey parent. Hockey for four years. Four years. And they fell in love with it right away, about the age of seven. And we've been just addicted ever since. Danielle Kennedy is a hockey mom. Her twin boy's addiction to hockey means a lot of time at the rink, sometimes as early as 6 a.m. before school. Oh, the parents don't want to get up, but the kids do. Yeah. Position you play? Center. Defense. Defense. Well, so that makes sense. So you're saying scoring goals, you're saying stopping them scoring goals. So do you guys yeah. do that? You do like one-on-one -on -one drills? Where... Yeah. Yeah. Often yeah. How does that go? Mm, free, even. It depends. Good. Who wins? No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? They'd do it five days a week if they could. E.T. The Kennedy boys play other sports, but hockey dominates their time with leagues in the winter and spring and hockey camps in the summer. Danielle has some simple advice for hockey parents. Invest in a very warm jacket, <laughs> lots of coffee, lots of money. But how much, really? It starts out at about, what, 1200 and can go all the way up to five grand, maybe, and that's maybe not including some summer camps. So between ice time, gear, and league play hockey can be expensive, but local hockey associations do offer gear swaps and some scholarships to dedicated families to help offset those costs. So if your kids are interested in learning to skate, you can check out the Kraken Community Iceplex in Seattle, Snow King Arenas in Snoqualmie, Kirkland, and Renton, down south, the Kent Valley Ice Center, in Tacoma, Twin Rinks and Sprinker Recreation Center, up north, Bellingham Ice Arena and Olympic View Arena in Mount Lake Terrace. There are also Try Hockey for Free events happening year-round. We have more information on our website, fox13seattle.com.